Hello there, welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. In this video, we are going to provide an answer to three set problem, which is on the type two. We did a previous uh, video on type one, whereby the Venn diagram regions will be given to you. You will be asked to use that diagram to find some uh, regions of to answer questions. In the type two, you will be asked to find the three sets, the intersection of the three sets. So in this case, in a survey of 200 students of a school, it was found out that 120 study, the first set will be mathematics, 90 studies, second physics, and 70 study what? Chemistry. 40 study mathematics and physics which is the intersection 30 study physics and chemistry 50 study chemistry and what mathematics then 20 study none of the three sets so in this case we let So we let you represent student in the school. So we are going to use the first letters as capitals. Then we are going to have M. Mathematics students. Then we take P. Then finally we have for chemistry. Alright, so you know we are not going to represent these informations on the Venn diagram. We are going to use an initial, but the M must have a value from the function. So we know our number of U as in total number of all, the universal set. The total number is going to be 200. So in this case, I have 200 as the number of students. Then M is going to be number of what? Mathematics. And we are told it's what? 120. Then that of what? 120 mathematics, 90 what? Physics. So number of physics is going to be 90 then 70 study what chemistry so chemistry is going to be 70 that's the number of uh, students who study chemistry now we can see 40 study mathematics and chemistry and means intersection so in this case number of what 40 study mathematics so Mathematics intersection physics is given to us as what? 40. Don't forget, it didn't say only. So we have that value. 30 also will go for physics and chemistry. So then we have 50 for chemistry and mathematics, chemistry and mathematics. So number of chemistry intersection mathematics is what? 50. Then we are having the complement and the complement is going to be number of the first set M intersection P intersection C complement and that gives us what? 20. But we are asked to find what? How many students, okay, who study all the three subjects? That's the intersection. So, number of M, intersection P, intersection C. So, give us what? X, a value we don't know. Don't forget, this is supposed to be union. It's a complement. So, M, union P, union what? C. That will give us the region of what? 20. So now we can see that the whole sentence has been translated into 
mathematical what symbols or mathematical statement so i can take care of this there is nothing here that we need all the things we need are now in the preamble but we have to find how many students study what physics only and chemistry only you will take care of that Venn diagram so in this case From 1, 2, 3, 4, we are having intersection. M intersection P. M intersection P has been given to us. Don't forget, it didn't say only. So it is both these regions. So now that I know the intersection, here is going to be X. While this is going to be 40 minus 1, X. In the sense that if I add the two regions, I should still be get what? 40. 40 minus x plus x will still give you 40 so that is the region i'm looking for then i have uh, 30 for p and c p and c is 30 so that is also a combination of this so I have 30 minus what x in drawing this diagram you make sure you draw it big so that your uh, writings should be able to fill in that space now here we are having c and m cm and that is also 50 so 50 minus what x the only information left to transcribe is what the complement and that will be our 20 it can be anywhere of this place so you can see that there's no other information that we have for the question so we have to indicate this with another letter which can be found now, in this, we can use three different methods to solve this question. One, I will use the formula. So, for the set, so we have the three sets, P, M, and what? C. We are going to have our universal set. So, the universal set as a number. So by substitution, if you want to substitute the values, our universal set is going to be 200 equals to this we have been given for the question. 120 this is given to us as 90, 70 minus the three intersections. So if I have a PMP, that is 40, minus M and C, that will be 50, minus P and C, that will be 30. Don't forget plus the intersection, which is our X plus the complement, which is going to be what? Our 20. So let's compute this and see what we get. This is going to be 210, 280. If you subtract 40 from 280, you have 240. 190. 190, we have minus uh, 30. That will give us 160 plus this 180 so we are going to have this is going to be this will be a positive because this is positive x so now this will come here as 200 180 minus what x so our x is just a value of what 20 meaning from the question we are asked to find the number of students who study all by the formula, we can get our value to be what? 20. Alright. The second method. Now, for method 2, we are going to use 
the diagram, we need to know the value of A, B, C. So that we can use the method that says that add all the regions. Add all the regions to be equal to the universal set. So in that case, I need this. So for set M, I'll be having A, which is this, plus 40 minus X here, plus X, plus 50 minus 4 X, also give me the total of what? 120. I should be able to get 120 as what? Total. Then since I'm looking for A, since I'm looking for A, I'll be adding these two to give me 90. Negative positive will also cancel. I'll be left with 90 plus A minus X equals what? 120. So I have A plus 90 minus X equals to 120. So now I need to find the value of A. So I'm looking for the A. So now A equals to, this is going there to subtract. Now to give us 30. So 30, this is also going there to become a positive X. That being our first equation from the set M. So for set P, I will still be having B plus 40 minus X plus X plus 30 minus X also give me what? 90 in this circle. 1, 2, 3, 4 should be able to sum to give me what? 90. And I believe this will give you 70. This and this will cancel. Then B is going to be equals to 90 minus 70 will be 20. The X will go to become plus what? X. That will give us equation 2. Then let's take the last one. For set what? C. All of this will be C plus 50 minus X plus X plus 30 minus X. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. That should also give us total of what? 70. So in this case, 50, 80. This will cancel this. So 50 plus this will be 80. We'll be going to subtract from here. So C is going to be minus 10 as in 70 minus 80. Minus 10. Then this becomes plus what? X. Equation 3. So now with this, we now know the value of A, B, and C. So we are now going to substitute that into the addition of all. So we know that the Venn diagram, the universal set, which is the number of U. Let me take it directly. The universal set is what? 200 equals to A plus what? 40. Okay, let me write the alphabet together. A plus B plus what? C plus 40 minus X plus 50 minus X plus 30 minus X then plus X plus what? 20. This particular 20. Let's check whether we have all the age regions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All the age regions are available. Don't forget A, B, C are having variables. As in A, we have the set, okay, 30 plus X, B, 20 plus X, and C is here. So I'll be maintaining my 200 equals to A. What do we get? 30 plus X 
B. 20 plus X, C, is minus 10 plus what? X. That is in the case of this. All right. Now I am going to just cancel out the ones that can easily be canceled. This is a negative or cancel word, positive. So I am left with this plus this will give you what? 50. 50 plus this, 100. 140. So I'll add that 140. Then I'll be having minus x minus x. That will give us what? Minus 2x. But you can also see that we are having x, x, x as a positive. That will have been 3x. Then it is what? Minus 2x. So positive 2 of them will cancel this. So you will only be left with what? 1 of the x. So this plus this 50 minus this 40 plus this 180. Meaning 200 equals to 180 plus what? X. And that will also give us 200 minus 180 equals what? X. Therefore, your X is going to be what? 20. So that would be the value as we got using the formula. So in this case, if we want to find the value of what? P only. The question says to find P only, which is the value of B. And B is what? 20. So if I'm looking for P only, it will be 20 plus X. That will have given us what? 40. We are looking for chemistry also. Chemistry is minus 10 plus X. And the X is 20. So that will also be what? A positive 10. That is the two methods. There are three methods. But with the time we've already spent 20 minutes on this, it's getting too long. I will only give you an insight to that. In that, you can cover one of the circle, as in cover C. When you cover C, it means it is 70. So 70 plus A plus this plus this. So equals to what? 200. So this plus this plus this plus 70 equals 200. But already we know what the A stands for. We know what the B stands for. If you substitute that into the value, you get your X also equals what? 20. All right, so this is the second aspect of Venn diagram whereby you will be asked to find the third intersection, the three set intersection. And these are the three methods through which you can get your answer easily. If you find this very educative or very useful, please share, subscribe, and like. Don't forget to leave your comment below. See you in the next episode as we take the type 2, the type 3 of our 3 set problem.